Right, so just a quick update because um, all the greens popped up. Uh, I didn't think the cover crop had, would have been up by now uh, because we've had no rain or anything. But over there near the thinking tree, uh, it's all coming up, so it's good. So today, like we've we're putting uh, so the birch, the thinking tree on the OM uh, year wheel is the first tree of the OM, and it's um. It's the pioneer of the first days of the year. So we've made a little altar. Um, Linda, not the the Linda, not Linda, Linda Greenbrows. Linda with a Y, Linda with an I, because she asks why and don't think about I. Hey, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> right, so uh, this this is our little witchy, witchy altar that we're preparing here. So I'll turn it around. Right, so... This is what Linda's uh, painted for us, and it's got the spiral and the birch tree, like the silver birch. And um, so the in the time of birch on the arm wheel, um, where are we? Are, the birch is here, uh, and this is the the corresponding alphabet symbol. Um, the moon is in vine, and um, depending on where you are. Uh, if you're in France or somewhere with grapes, it'd be grapes. But uh, we have brambles. That's our our vine. So um, here we've got a little offering of bramble buds for the for that moon. But uh, at this time of year, um, we're in the the time of oak now, and uh, the moon for this one is gorse. And it's the new moon today, so it's a super special witchy little thing like that. Uh, we've got a deer ant antler because with the thinking tree birch, uh, this is what we're putting up today. So this, it's it's this is the first piece of user uh, like art for the trail reeler, and it's fitting because uh, we've. It just so happens that this is our first little central piece to do with native trees and the Owen ancient Irish alphabet. So this is Ellen of Trackways and um, so that's what the deer uh, antlers are all about and she's um, uh, she's like uh, the leader sort of she, she's like the deer and people used to follow deer tracks about and like the fly garrick mushroom down here the, the classic fairy tale mushroom uh, there's like the, sh the stories of the shamans where they feed them to the deer and drink the pee and go on spirit journeys and but basically it's it's a symbol of um new beginnings and um you know following a path uh, for the rest of the year so this is number one uh, you can see this by the symbol um, one and then the second one a little single and then it swaps direction and it goes this way anyway so I, I like this as well because it looks like an antler so so we're going to put it next to the thinking tree um, uh, uh, all this I'll just show you a bit of the greenery that's popped up so this is where the ducks were so uh, that's nice healthy uh, nettles um, it turns out there were some studies done with corvid uh, and it inhibits the growth so it stops it it spreading uh, in the human body um, and but but for for the land here um, they call it a dynamic accumulator and what that means is uh, it brings up minerals from f far down in the soil and different levels of the soil and uh, when it dies back, it puts it on the topsoil. And nettles, um, they're, the, um, they're just the best, really, cover crop. They bring up the most amount of different minerals um, for other plants to thrive. Uh, to thrive. Uh, yeah, so they help out stuff. Um, so that's what they're doing here. But you can use them as medicine. They're... they're um, what the antihistamine as well as histamine when you get stung off them uh, so the leaves they're full of minerals the roots are good for people's prostate if you've got like a if you you're getting on and you're prostate <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got some problems. You're not having a good, they're good for male, male problems, the roots. And then the seeds are good for energy. Um, they, they like, uh, get you going. Uh, so, uh, I'll just uh, show you a bit of this. Bit of wild garlic there. Uh, and look, all the, all the trees I've took, every single one. Uh, I won't spend too long doing this, but I'll just show you that we've got gooseberries, the elder there. Um, we've got a little currant bush there. Uh, these are starting to go. I don't know what that is, but it's some sort of fruit. Uh, currants. And then I've noticed this is a, a pear or something. Yeah, so there's some fruit trees there, some classic fruit trees. Uh, this area here, this is the rye, forage rye, and uh, forage, uh, as in it'll feed uh, animals. Uh, the the pond life is uh, stuff starting to flower in the pond. So that was quick, weren't it? Uh, Ryan put uh, oh, there's some there as well. Ryan put frog spawn in here uh, and there was shrimps on the plants that were transplanted so that'll get going this is wild cherry grove and look cherries are blooming well whatever blooming is for leaf form uh, here oh we've got one out here this is silver birch around the thinking tree the thinking tree is the birch and this is why we're here today for the new moon um of course we're making this little honoring and putting the first piece of art for the trailer so i'm not gonna record that process because it's uh a bit sacred and stiff so but that's the update um turn up it.